Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, Tuesday's video. Um, yeah, we had a bit of fun making it. A lot of foodie stuff in that one, so we're going to do a lot of building stuff in this one. Uh, so basically behind me, the granite walls I need to finish to get this area um, tidied up so Ange, when she's feeling more mobile, can uh, plant loads of stuff here. Um, as you saw, I've got lots of cactus to plant, or you know, um, agave to plant everywhere, but uh, this will be a start and I think she's got some plans for more succulents and flowers and stuff. We'll let her get on with it. I'll crack on with the wall. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down You could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I'm staring at you, you don't even notice. Should have told you straight away, you don't have to be afraid anymore. I know you haven't noticed. You I could show you more Cause baby you deserve some more But still you're here And that's what I adore Should have told you straight away Everything I have to say But I'm afraid And I know you haven't noticed You know
And there we go, it's a bit more walling done. Um, yeah, it's getting tricky as we know because having the right stones, etc, etc. But uh, yeah, quite pleased with that. There's a lot of stuff now that's out of the way of this area, which I've got to dig over. Uh, so I reckon next week, Ange can plant her, all her things in there, like this is waiting to go in, etc. Yeah, we're going uh, going to hospital tomorrow with Andreas to, to see the surgeon who'd done the work. I think he'd done a grand job, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And I've done a little bit this side, a little one in there, and then got the backs of these to fill in and tidy up us. Well, when we find out which bits are live, tidy up the straggling uh, grapevine there. But yeah, I reckon a few more days on that to go yet, and the same on the other side. But we're getting there. And now I'm going to go in the morning off to Cindy's. Okay, so uh, just finished the wall outside and thought um, it's only five o'clock. I'll turn this noise off. It's only five o'clock, so um, I thought I'd do a quick render mix for the little wall on the gym inside. Uh, well, it's, just, it's a sauna wall. So I'll um, just crack on and do that. So a bit of an explanation, before we do any rendering, uh, make sure the wall is nice and moist so you can, um, so the render sticks to it, a nice fluffy render mix with uh, sand, three, three fine sand, three fine sand, one cement and uh, obviously mortar plasticizer, the lovely stuff, but no waterproof because we're indoors so it's not needed. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just. 
just us two Me and you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I can't believe you love me Oh, 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 oh I just feel so lucky Oh, 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 oh Still can't believe you love me That's that one laid on. Um, it's just going to be one coat guys, nice and thick and um, yeah it's indoors so I'll just turn the camera around. They are all laid on, need to clean the floor up obviously and I'll come back in a minute after I've walked Max and uh, float that off and then leave it for a couple of hours and sponge it and Angie's just about to feed cats. <laughs> So I just heard a massive crack of thunder and um, I'll just show you what's happening outside. Now it's raining. Whoa. You can see that one, didn't you? Yeah, just uh, nearly got the rendering finished. We have a bit of a downpour.
Jesus! Oh! I hit something here, didn't it? Like, like just over here somewhere. Yeah. Surprised we haven't had a power cut yet. The power's gone off. Oh, ha! <laughs> I just said that. I just went in there. Yeah. So we both uh, love the rain, obviously. That's why we're recording it. Um, yeah. Uh, so now um, yeah, everything went black. I couldn't really finish it rendering very well, so I've done the best I could. And then, um, sort of the next day, we went off to Cindy's. I just thought this is such a big stone. It'd be great to see how it's done. Made for it. It's a bit of a high. <laughs> See, what I might do is tip it that way so this angle meets that. Yeah. Possibly. Okay, there we go guys, uh, a few mixes for Cindy, made a wall a bit higher, um, so the window height is now going to be 
about here so we're we're nearly there just a little bit to go yeah um little tiny little bit here and then as you saw earlier the huge rolling stone that we put in with help from uh, two of Cindy's subscribers um, Sandra and Raymond and yeah a brilliant help they both were today rolling stones in for all this stuff and um, mixing concrete cement mortar and um, yeah just filling this all in so it won't be long now a few more visits and Cindy can we'll put her windows in hi everyone so it's a bit windy um, yeah, just got back from Cindy's and decided that the per turkey patch where they were, it's gone a bit, uh, they've eaten all the grass basically, which is really good. So we've moved them on to greener pastures. Oma Casanova. And here they are now. In a new residence and look at the size of them. Oh, you're going to taste lovely. Oh, sorry, you're going to look lovely when you're fully grown. Yeah, so it looks like we got uh, three or four darkish ones, two or three lightish ones. So, yeah, I think two are going to turn out like mum. They might all, we never know. So, new house, new feed, new grass to, to feed on as well. And a new little bed in there, and everything's all going well. Yes, and soon we're going to have to think about taking you out, Mum. Yep. Okay, here we go. Windy, and we're off to a hospital for Angie's two weeks after her operation checkup. She's doing all right. And we're going shopping as well. <laughs> and here's the resulting x ray picture from today. Uh, Angie's new right hip there on the left of the screen, obviously. Uh, the stem that goes into the femur and the cup drilled uh, into the hip. And then on the left of the screen there, you can just see the staples she had. I don't know how many she had, but it was quite a few. Um, yeah, so I, I think this guy is only four, three, four inches long. Um, yeah, so it's stapled because it leaves a very minimum scar. Uh, yeah, and the consultant said he's very, very pleased with it. It's very even, um, not one leg shorter than the other, all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, he's really pleased. She's not on any painkillers now. She's not on any anti-inflammatories. Everything's working really well. Um, she's got a bit of muscle soreness, which is a common thing, apparently. Um, basically because she's been using her, favouring her left side more than her right. And her right leg's not, uh, you know, her muscles aren't used to doing the work. So she's well on the mend. Um, yeah, I thought you might be interested in that. That's all. Okay. So, hi everyone. Uh, th well, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and um, don't forget to ring that little notification bell. Ding, ding. Yeah. Um, a little thing we want to talk about today, Friday the 1st of April. April Fool's Day in the UK. I don't know how that works in anywhere else in the world. Uh, marks our third year. We actually arrived here on the 1st of April three years ago. 10 o'clock at night, we rolled up outside the front door in our... A little convoy of <laughs> trucks and caravans, caravans and a horse box. And a horse box, yeah. Two dogs and a cat. Um, yeah, big, big changes. Which yeah. got a few photos that. You yeah, I'm going to put up some loads of still photographs. I might um, talk through a few of them. But uh, the arrival of Boris, our our first sort of Portuguese animal. Oh well, no, we had no, chickens, chickens first. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Got my birthday. Yeah. That year, because where we're sat now. Was where the chickens used to live. Yeah, there used to be a chicken shed. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll put up some still photographs and um, a brief explanation of stuff and just a brief look through all the things we've done here. A montage. A little, yeah, not a full montage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like the, the moving the bread oven, fix it, well, fixing the whole house. Um, you know, I won't give everything away because we've still got some still photographs to do with other projects we've got going um the pool is you know all everything up yeah just lots of stuff um but it's been a great three years it certainly we've, has we've Absolutely. done a lot we've met loads of lovely friends here um and just loving life yeah we miss the family a bit a bit <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course we miss the family um 
but yeah new new friends we've got here uh, basically everyone that moves to Portugal we've found that we've met no matter where they come from whether it be the Netherlands Germany or whatever they all come here for the same sort of reasons so we've all we're all sort of like-minded if you like um, we have American friends and Korean you know it's just uh, worldwide yeah, it's crazy yeah, and... Uh, and obviously lots of Portuguese as well. Lots of Portuguese friends as well. So, um, so welcoming. All our neighbours have been absolutely fabulous. Uh, yeah. Generous to a T. It's, it's crazy. They're I think it's the best thing we've ever done. Yeah. It's been been absolutely awesome. And yeah. uh, now that I'm bionic legged up, I can start... I, I can do lots more, you know, gradually, but... At time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I can, uh, you know, get on with the garden and planting because I'm a bit behind at the moment, but we'll get there. It's no, at the end of the day, we have a long time. So. Yeah. yeah. So coming up in future videos or very shortly, uh, we have the finishing off of the pool, which needs to be done before the summer, and it's really dirty after all that clay rain from the Sahara. So you have to. I have to make a pump or a filter of some description to be able to clean that out. We've also got finishing off the uh, calzada at the front, finish, finishing off the patio wall, which you saw at the start of the video. Finishing off the games room. Finishing all right, all right. Fin <laughs> yeah, finishing off a few bits anyway, fairly soon. So, yeah, uh, keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing. and um, Yeah, thanks so much for all, of, of all the messages and, and things. It's been absolutely fabulous. So. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up, guys. Thank you. Brilliant. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. So this is the next day after we arrived uh, with the front door open and just looking at starting work on the rest of the house. We're now uh, working on where we're going to get some chickens because it's coming up to my birthday. So prepare the chicken run. And here they are, the first of our flock on my birthday. Attractive photo of Boris not long after we rescued him from the bins in the local village. And this is our first makeshift kitchen. This is the main room in the middle of the house with a barbecue for a stove. So this room has now become our lounge. So after clearing this area we discovered a lemon tree which we never knew we had. And here we have a, a quick shot of some work started indoors, uh, making new doors basically. So here's a shot of us, our first few days working, where we ripped out the whole kitchen ceiling. You can see the old asbestos roof above us. And uh, yeah, uh, just having a well-earned beer and the start of many more work to come and probably many more beers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>